So here's another cool thing is that it actually shows the absolute path. So if you're going to mount this on like a Linux machine maybe and you need it for FSTAB, here's your UUID that you could use in FSTAB to mount it. Just a little tip if it's something that you're interested in doing. So now we're almost all set to actually access this drive and the only thing we need to do is come over here to services. So we're going to use SMB because that's most commonly used and I'm going to just click over here. I'm going to click share. We're going to select the share. I'm going to select my share one more time. And now over here, I'm just going to say guest allowed. So if you're signing in on a Windows PC or a Linux machine, you can sign in usually a little bit easier. It's browsable and I'm going to add a recycle bin because I like to have one. If anything else in here you see that you might want to put in, you can. Other than that, this is all I'm going to set. I'm going to click save. I'm going to apply one more time. And now one more thing that I want to do is I'm going to come back over here to SMB and I'm just going to make sure that this is all enabled. And I believe we should be all good. So I'm just going to cancel. And now we should be all set to whack whack over to the drive. So if I open up run, you can see over here, I could do that. I'm going to do share. Uh, I need to spell share right. And I'm able to whack whack over to it. And if I click create new, I have write permissions, so I can come over here and I can actually write a folder to it, or I can write a, a file. Here's a, a text document, so I can actually write over to my share. So now we're pretty much all set for the basic stuff. 